Hi, I'm presenting to you today this wonderful painting, Heaven's Rain. We have kingdom on earth and uh, kings and queens when they are in position of power their reign mostly is extended to the death everything is under the wings some of them they even have the faces printed on the money is to show the power of their reign and their will is always established this painting is the heavens who are in charge so heaven's reign has been designed from books talking about the glory of the creator we can see the lamb the seed of abraham the cross one earth who is catch on fire you can see the lion some other places and the stairway the woman cast in the desert the camel the earthly tower the statue of liberty some other human burning in a, a sort of fire and uh, the earth is half into the water and half open and on top here is Michael Jackson yes in this one of his famous position and we can see buildings going up to the heavens we can also observe the cloud into the half earth the cloud on top of our atmosphere and the stars and the heavens on top of the top the fire the volcano and under the earth there is another universe and a sort of rainbow crossing down the water digging out and the desert the sun going down you can see the different dimensions into these paintings so i can just focus myself in uh, one thing the main thing which is heaven's rain we are accustomed to writing and observing the stars our universe and uh, being part of the universe but not fully acknowledging the signs of the heavens heavens reign prophet philosopher scientist thinker physicians and politicians all of humans are focused into what the future holds in our society when come to live our life we are always more focused on the tomorrow some call the future but everything in life happen smooth heaven reigns is a painting 
that map those change changes we are always focusing or we are projecting when we look at our future most of us why are we so focused in our future into the tomorrow what we want to become how things have to change in our behalf it's because we are part of the universe and the universe is made of change change is the life that is in us change is the appearance of the universe because we are alive means we are changing something that is static cannot be alive if there is a creation there is a life so change is not something we are in charge of change is something the heavens are in charge of we are part of the heavens we are a creation we are the atom we are the movement we are the life every movement is part of change like i'm speaking right now is already past that is the change that is inevitable in our realm of reality heavens rain we live in our universe not in accord of our will like a sin to be but in accord of existence and the law set from the heavens according to the law set into the heavens nothing remain the same because of the reality of life life being the movement movement mean the change nothing can remain the same so according to the power of the heavens the reign of the heavens according to the movement in everything we also have seasons to mark the different stages of those movements seasons like winter summer and all other season are not man-made these are heaven's way of manifesting his power through the harmonization and the change prepared from long ago who are eventually affecting everything created the rising and falling of powers the lifting up of civilization the reaping in the field the sowing in the field all everything in existence is part of the reign established from above human some philosopher and thinker have tagged into that philosophy and some have used into the philosophy word like there is nothing new in the universe some said the first will become the last and the last will become the first all those philosophy 
by observing nature and what is happening in the atmosphere, they could have draw those conclusions. Today, our world is going through changes and the heavens are in charge once more. Human think they are in charge but we are like tools we cannot be in charge in the universe we have no created we can observe through the united nation the owner of the united nation the international community and all those who think they are in charge when they're making decisions concerning human it's obvious to observe today how this the actual self-called civilization is losing all of his power so heavens reigns in 2011 when this painting of have been done i took time to portray the enfield tower into the desert and the Statue of Liberty into the water. That wasn't my doing. And I lift up another kind of civilization going up to the heavens and having the seal of the cross. But just like everything, all the inspiration that come, we can just mark them and later on we can have a clue of what is happening. Today, things who are happening in our world to the humans of today are incomprehensible. Those things, although some have been prophesied that the world will go into danger, into this, into this, but the way those things are occurring and are growing in every country is almost mind-blowing for those who are following the, all the catastrophes who are happening in the world today. But when I was doing this painting, this oil painting, it was the kind of event that never happened to our generation or to one before us. It's just like when someone is accustomed to the writing of uh, the books, this, the, the religion books, where horses are flying in heaven, horses are bringing curses to the earth, the, the lamb, all those strange stories where people have been dividing water and all those things. But those things are happening today. Just recently, in less than 24 hours, an entire area in America has been burned. If you see the news into that country, how things are degrading in one hour, in two days, and all over the world, how the flood and everything that is happening to humanity today is very, very scary. But at the same time, those things are happening, our humanity is reaching the stage, the glorious stage has not been witnessed more than 100 years ago. The wealth that is poor in the Middle East, in China, nothing like that has been witnessed for a very, very long time. Now, those who have spent the time calling 
some part of the world poor and mocking at them and calling themselves rich. Those are now witness of the heavens. Like I said earlier, change is movement, is life. So a person who finds himself rich is rich because of a self-standard. So the first will become the last and the last will become the first. So when you rich and you say I'm rich, of course it's by, it's by comparison. But when you establish yourself being above all the other, it is a good thing. But if you have no inside revelation, you are not aware of what will happen to you next. Because life is made of change, of movement. And that is inevitable. You can claim to make your country great again, but that is not according to the change to the heaven reign. If you claim to be above all other, to be a superior, or to be rich is a state of observation, self-observation, but it's not a state of truth because truth is a divine revelation. Now, according to the heavens, that position will have to change because everything change. So a man that is a superior or that is rich and that called order poor, when the change are happening, where will be his position? Because everything change. Now, no one can have the desire for the change. But because the power is not in our hand, the power and the rain come from the universe. And the heavens, natural law and natural way of establishing harmony is through a level of peace, understanding, knowledge, love and wisdom. These are things permitting the harmony to be established. If there is no knowledge, if there is no love, if there is no wisdom, the people perish. And when the people perish, the level of understanding has to be diminished first the level of love and knowledge. And those who are taking away the breath from order, they have to do so according to the ignorance, not according to the knowledge. So when there is a disbalance in any society or when a human that is passing away is claiming to be rich. It's not a position of a power, it's a position of ignorance. So I, the position that humans are taking to establish themselves above is called pride. And that pride comes before the fall. And it's where you can go back to the reigns of the heavens to find out when the change comes, those who are in that position of ignorance that is empowered through the pride are the first to go down to the earth. So, heavens reign. When the heavens are operating according to 
love to the wisdom established from before the creation which is the movement of life when the heavens reign the first sign of the operational mechanism of the creator is his nature when things start changing all around when you see danger on the road danger on the sea when you see the signs of heavens then be alert be aware as the study hosts are moving to accomplish the justice of the mighty creator so a nation can be full of pride and arrogance and can claim the glory to God God bless this country God bless us but when the heavens are operating the justice it does not spare those who are holding into the region to claim the weaknesses or the wrongdoing toward other nations so if you see a country or a wealthiest country that is surrounded by natural catastrophe is the heavens who are bringing down the justice if you see the entire world surrounded by that kind of phenomenon is still a natural way of establishing harmony further when the exploiting land in the past after a few years they were giving rest to the land but human they never give rest to the earth if it's no war it's going to be the natural resources who are going to be removed from the earth if it's not the natural resources it's going to be human who are going to be finish into the earth if it's no human it's going to be the heaven building and the deforestation and all the other things who will be rising from the earth today the moral compasses of human is so low does not permit them to observe what is happening in our surrounding in africa alone there is almost a thousand different group of rebellion armed group operating in the middle east with the arab spring we saw the destruction of so many countries one after another and in the western world today the roots are shaking you see the tension between different countries but all of that is because of the control so the control that human think they can have in our planet where everything around us seem to be against us but human are still having the eyes down to the mineral to the earthly material and they are still engaging themselves into the war of domination but the system that we are operating with in our universe today does not hold in no country you have the system imposed to the africans but if you look at Africa today, that system of election does not hold. Most of the country, the head of state have been there for 30 years, 40 years, and in other country, 
we see the army being in power and president being deposed and nothing works. In Europe, we are witnesses the same system since the collapse of colonization. So, those who are focused in the system of the world where the naming countries not to follow the chaotic system that people have to vote every four years where thing does not change the mentality does not change the system need to be destroyed today the challenges of our world are not the challenges caused by those failing system the challenges that every human is facing today is not only the inflation that is the result of our wrongdoing but is the rain from the heavens no one is spared for the determination to come back to the wisdom to come back to the love to come back to the knowledge that are found in the heavens we have departed from our humanity and today we live a life with an uncertain future we live a life where we haven't got the control of the present. We live a chaotic life in every country and in every realm of reality. Today, farmers don't even know when to plant the crop. The seasons are uncertain and no one can predict the future. Today, is the day we need to change the way we are looking at ourselves. Ignorance is a fact in every disturbed civilization. Love is known, but it does not come cheap. It comes through the search of wisdom and the spreading of knowledge. The system of education in our world which has replaced the former slavery and enslaved human from 8 to 5 all the life they have to walk. If that was the key, if our world live in peace today, but that has not been the key. So we need to redesign how we're looking at each other. We need to go back to the source of wisdom, to the source of life, because we are not only making it hard for each other, but we are also making it more harder for the sustainability of our life into this planet, the only place we have to dwell. So, heaven reigns is a call for the organization our world has created to deal with the human problem, like the United Nations and all the international whatsoever they call themselves, to have the deepest reflection into what they have been created, the level of suffering inflicted in humanity is at his walls. Although there seem to be no way out, where humans have reached the level to ask the question, how can we feed ourselves? And we need to get rid of some of the population on earth. That is not wickedness but it's the biggest failure that can come out of those people in position the earth has more than enough to sustain 100 billions of humans like i've always said a tree is beautiful just when it's full of 
foot. Heaven's reign. We may be fatherless in our earth where things of yesterday do not come to today. But we have writings talking about the past. One of them is found in the book of Abraham. And that one is also the sign of this painting. Into that book, it is written that God was willing to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah and Abraham questioned God. If I favor in front of us, if there are if there is one just human in that city, will you destroy the city? He said, I will bring that human out and I will destroy the city. And Abraham continue asking, if there is two or three people, are you going to destroy the city? He said, you will bring them out and destroy the city. And Abraham said, if there are more than 10, if there are more than 20, then the Creator said, because of those 20, I'm going to spare that city. Today, the level of lies and ignorance found among our politicians, businesses, and any realm in creation is questionable. Before asking the question why the heavens are taking back control, we should ask the question how many of us are remaining faithful to themselves? How many honest humans can we find on earth today? How many humans on earth today are not after the wealth, after the destruction? How many humans on earth today love all the humans or love themselves? How many humans today can be called just? Heavens reign. We should redesign our humanity. Thank you.